What's going on everyone? Another little video from Iris here on a nice sunny Monday. Mondays suck. I'm sure the rest of you feel the same. A question was posed to me this morning. We have a daily meeting that we do amongst managers here at this company and they asked me, hey, you know, if we went to a four day work week, which day, you know, would you want to take off? And I started thinking about it and I'm like, well, I guess Monday. But then I started thinking about it. And I'm like, well, then Tuesday would become my new Monday and I feel the same. So I started thinking to myself, well, what about Friday? And I'm like, yeah, I guess I could do Friday. But then some people were saying Wednesday and blah, 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 blah. So I'm wondering, you know, I really don't know. If we went to a four-day week, work week, what, what day would I take off? Let me know down in the comments what day you guys would take off. You know, I don't know how many of you are actually working or in school, but if you had the opportunity to have a, I guess, a four-day work week, which day would you take off from that week? So the topic at hand, more to do. I feel like I have more to do with YouTube. I think coming from nothing, uh, building it up little by little via various uh, methods through TSG, some of it, you know, just spamming hashtags and Twitter, uh, you know, building relationships. And real quick, I just want to say a big thank you to Joker. I'm going to obviously I'm going to put the link to his to his channel down in the description. I mean, great guy. I mean, definitely unselfish. Uh, so many times he reaches out to the community to try to help other channels over himself. Uh, just, just a great guy. Great thing that he that he did for me. Totally on. Uh, I did not expect that. I didn't know he was going to do that. Um, but obviously, you know, he got. I think I got four subs off of that, and that's four more than I had when I started. And really, I appreciate it. I was very humbled when I saw you doing the stream. I was in a meeting and really couldn't uh, get involved with it. But thank you again, Joker. Again, link to his channel will be down in the description. Funny guy does a great podcast with Wookie, Batman, and Anthrax. If you guys ever get a chance to listen to it, it's a good listen to while you're at work. Pretty pretty funny bunch of guys that I've, I've hooked up with there. Um, but anyway, I'm trying to think, like, what more can I do? You know, I don't want to be spammy. Um, well, I think I do it the right way. I don't think I'm too annoying with it where... You know, I'll tweet it out and, you know, it'll go out via YouTube and then a couple hours later or maybe like 12 hours later, I'll, you know, send a tweet out about it and then I'll add it to a playlist and then I'll like it. Uh, just trying to do those various kind of automatic things. Um, I try not to tweet it too much because I don't want to, again, I don't want to be annoying with Twitter because I know what that's like. Uh, but I try to do it through Facebook. I try to do it through Google Plus as well. Um, you know, just trying to get my message out there, trying to get my channel out there. You know, I, I'm hoping you guys are sharing it. I'm hoping you guys are passing it around. Uh, but the sub count just isn't coming. I mean, I think I'm doing pretty good with the views. And again, that could just be people clicking the link that I send out in the tweets. So I'm trying to build the, the sub count, which will make the view count go a little higher. And I'm just reaching out to you guys here, just thinking on this Monday as I go through all the catching up on the weekend uploads that you guys did um you know what more can i do is it is it really the fact that i don't have a consistent upload schedule i mean is that really something that's hurting me um i mean i think you know people have reached out for me for i guess my content you know kind of looks pretty good i guess i've got my color correction down uh 720 60 frames you know i guess i guess the the play in the background kind of looks good I think I pr pick pretty good topics to talk about. You know, it's not just gameplay. Some of it is real life stuff. Um, some of it is just, you know, helping me out with this YouTube thing, just like this one. Uh, so far, I've, I've picked up quite a bit of help along the way from, you know, various channels and tips and feedback via DMs or comments on the videos. But I'm not seeing the sub count go up. Now, obviously, I know. That is probably because I'm focusing really just on uh, Call of Duty gameplay in the background, which I plan on, I plan on changing it up a little bit. I actually downloaded NBA 2K16. It was free yesterday when I when I jumped on PSN. I saw that I saw that it was free, so I said, "What the hell?" I downloaded it. Uh, I'm gonna do a video uh, with that in the background. My first I I haven't played a sports game in God I don't even know how many years. Probably before I even plugged one of my consoles to a to an Ethernet cable. I, I used to just do single player games forever until I got into first person shooters. So obviously I know one of the things that's holding me back from growing my sub count is the actual content in the background, which again, like I said, I'm gonna work on that. 
Uh, I, I do have some other games. I'm going to try to mix in some battle, Battlefield 4. There's a couple of things in COD I still kind of want to get done. I want to finish up the shotguns and the snipers. Um, and then I think I'll be in a good position where I can kind of branch off into other games and not worry about uh, Call of Duty too much until, you know, November. And come November and October this fall, I'll have uh, Battlefield 1, Titanfall 2, and Infinite Warfare. So at least I'll have three definite games I can get content from. But... Can anybody tell me, do you think it's the topics? Is it my voice? Is it my approach? Is it, uh, you know, just, is it just me? I mean, it, or are there other tools that I can be using um, that, that can help me along the way? I don't want to reach out to people like bigger channels and say, hey, can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? Because I am, I guess, on good terms with some bigger channels. Uh, some are pretty obvious of, of, you know, who I'm friends with and some are not that you might I don't make too too public uh, for both parties, but you know I don't want to call in so-called favors. I don't want to have to owe anybody anything in that sense of the word. Um, you know nobody really owes me anything, and I don't feel that I really owe anybody anything except for some thank yous like I did for Joker, uh, Stunner. You know he did that video. I, I was just trying to help him out with you know he lost his uh, his settings. So little things like that I'm cool with, but you know, I'm, I'm kind of looking for ways to grow the sub count, but not be too spammy about it. And if you guys know of any ways that I could do that, and let me know down in the comments about things that I could do better with uh, my content regarding, you know, is it really that consistent upload schedule? Is, does it have to be every day? Does it have, if, if not every day, does it have to be, you know, that one day a week at that same time that people are going to be looking for the video? And once I upload a video, what are some of the things that I could do that are not so um, annoying to my followers? Uh, you know, I kind of wish that I kind of had like a second Twitter account where I could just like spam it out and not worry about my followers seeing it. And, you know, maybe that's something I can do. You know, what are some of the tricks that, that you guys do to get the message out, get your video in front of people's eyes? Do I abuse the hashtag COD, hashtag Black Ops 3 too much? You know, is that getting annoying? You know, I'm just looking at these little things now that I'm trying to, you know, I'm getting the views. Not bad for a 340 subscriber channel with most of the subs coming from TSG. And I'm getting, you know, almost 100 views a video. So that's not bad, you know. So let me know down in the comments. I appreciate the feedback, guys. Uh, looks like we won that game. It was an epic comeback. When I jumped in this game, we were down 15 points. Not that epic. But anyway, it was, it was, I guess, a comeback win. I like to think I had a big part of it because I just camped the hard point as soon as I got in there. But let me know, guys. Again, this is Iris. I'll see you guys in the next one. Laser.